Dudley Robert Hirschbach born June 18, 1932, is an American chemist at Harvard University. He won the 1986 Nobel Prize in Chemistry jointly with Yuan T. Lee and John C. Polanyi, "...for their contributions concerning the dynamics of chemical elementary processes." Hirschbach and Lee specifically worked with molecular beams, performing crossed molecular beam experiments that enabled a detailed molecular level understanding of many elementary reaction processes. Hirschbach is a member of the Board of Sponsors of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. <laughs> Early life and education Hirschbach was born in San Jose, California on June 18, 1932. The eldest of six children, he grew up in a rural area. He graduated from Campbell High School, where he played football. Offered both athletic and academic scholarships to Stanford University, Hirschbach chose the academic. His freshman advisor, Harold S. Johnston, hired him as a summer research assistant, and taught him chemical kinetics in his senior year. His master's research involved calculating Arrhenius A factors for gas phase reactions. Hirschbach received a B.S. in mathematics in 1954 and an M.S. in chemistry in 1955 from Stanford University. Hirschbach then attended Harvard University where he earned A.M. in physics in 1956 and a Ph.D. in chemical physics in 1958 under the direction of Edgar Bright Wilson. At Harvard, Hirschbach examined tunnel splitting in molecules, using microwave spectroscopy. He was awarded a three-year junior fellowship in the Society of Fellows at Harvard, lasting from 1957 to 1959. Topic. Research In 1959, Hirschbach joined the University of California at Berkeley, where he was appointed an assistant professor of chemistry and became an associate professor in 1961. At Berkeley, he and graduate students George Quay and James Norris constructed a cross-beam instrument large enough for reactive scattering experiments involve alkali and various molecular partners. His interest in studying elementary chemical processes in molecular beam reactive collisions challenged an often accepted belief that collisions do not occur in crossed molecular beams. The results of his studies of K plus CH3I were the first to provide a detailed view of an elementary collision, demonstrating a direct rebound process in which the key product recoiled from an incoming K atom beam. Subsequent studies of K plus bridge 2 resulted in the discovery that the hot wire surface ionization detector they were using was potentially contaminated by previous use, and had to be pre-treated to obtain reliable results. Changes to the instrumentation yielded reliable results, including the observation that the K plus bridge 2 reaction involved a stripping reaction, in which the KBR product scattered forward from the incident K atom beam. As the research continued, it became possible to correlate the electronic structure of reactants and products with the reaction dynamics. In 1963, Hirschbach returned to Harvard University as a professor of chemistry. There he continued his work on molecular beam reactive dynamics, working with graduate students Sanford Saffron and Walter Miller on the reactions of alkali atoms with alkali halides. In 1967, Yuan T. Lee joined the lab as a postdoctoral student, and Hirschbach, Lee, and graduate students Doug McDonald and Pierre Lebreton began to construct a supermachine for studying collisions such as Cl plus bridge 2 and hydrogen and halogen reactions. His most acclaimed work, for which he won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1986 with Yuan T. Lee and John C. Polanyi, was his collaboration with Yuan T. Lee on crossed molecular beam experiments. Crossing collimated beams of gas phase reactants allows partitioning of energy among translational, rotational, and vibrational modes of the product molecules, a vital aspect of understanding reaction dynamics. For their contributions to reaction dynamics, Hirschbach and Lee are considered to have helped create a new field of research in chemistry. Hirschbach is a pioneer in molecular stereodynamics, measuring and theoretically interpreting the role of angular momentum and its vector properties in chemical reaction dynamics. In the course of his life's work in research, Hirschbach has published over 400 scientific papers. Hirschbach has applied his broad expertise in both the theory and practice of chemistry and physics to diverse problems in chemical physics, including theoretical work on dimensional scaling. 
One of his studies demonstrated that methane is in fact spontaneously formed at high pressure and high temperature environments such as those deep in the Earth's mantle. This finding is an exciting indication of a biogenic hydrocarbon formation, meaning that the actual amount of hydrocarbons available on Earth might be much larger than conventionally assumed under the assumption that all hydrocarbons are fossil fuels. His recent work also includes a collaboration with Stephen Brams studying approval voting. Topic science and education Hirschbach's teaching ranges from graduate seminars on chemical kinetics to an introductory undergraduate course in general chemistry that he taught for many years at Harvard, and described as his most challenging assignment. Hirschbach has been a strong proponent of science education and science among the general public, and frequently gives lectures to students of all ages, imbuing them with his infectious enthusiasm for science and his playful spirit of discovery. Hirschbach has also lent his voice to the animated television show The Simpsons for the episode Treehouse of Horror 14, where he is seen presenting the Nobel Prize in Physics to Professor Frink. In October 2010, Hirschbach participated in the USA Science and Engineering Festival's Lunch with a Laureate program where middle and high school students will get to engage in an informal conversation with a Nobel Prize winning scientist over a brown bag lunch. Hirschbach is also a member of the USA Science and Engineering Festival's Advisory Board. Furthermore, Hirschbach has participated in the Distinguished Lecture Series of the Research Science Institute RSI, a summer research program for high school students held at MIT. Although still an active research professor at Harvard, he joined the Texas A&M University faculty September 1, 2005 as a professor of physics, teaching one semester per year in the chemical physics program. As of 2010, he holds the title of Professor Emeritus at Harvard, and remains well known for his involvement as a lecturer and mentor in the Harvard research community. He and his wife Georgine Hirschbach also served for several years as the co-masters of Courier House, where they were highly involved in undergraduate life in addition to their full-time duties. Topic public service He is a board member of the Center for Arms Control and Nonproliferation and was the chairman of the Board for Society for Science and the Public from 1992 to 2010. Hirschbach is a member of the Board of Sponsors of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. In 2003 he was one of 22 Nobel laureates who signed the Humanist Manifesto. He is also an Eagle Scout and recipient of the Distinguished Eagle Scout Award DESA. 2016 Endorsement for President of USA Professor Hirschbach publicly endorsed Hillary Clinton for President in 2016. Topic family Hirschbach's wife, Georgine Hirschbach, served as the Associate Dean of Harvard College for undergraduate academic programs. Prior to retirement in 2009, she chaired Harvard College's Influential Committee on Undergraduate Education. Topic awards and honors Hirschbach is a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, the National Academy of Sciences, the American Philosophical Society and the Royal Chemical Society of Great Britain. In addition to the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, he has received a wide variety of national and international awards. These include the National Medal of Science, the Axe Award in Pure Chemistry, the Linus Pauling Medal, the Irving Langmuir Award and the American Institute of Chemists Gold Medal. Topic publications Hirschbach, D. R. and V. W. Lorry, Anharmonic Potential Constants and Their Dependence Upon Bond Length, University of California, Lawrence Radiation Laboratory, Berkeley, United States Department of Energy through predecessor agency the Atomic Energy Commission, January 1961. Hirschbach, D. R. Reactive Collisions in Crossed Molecular Beams, University of California, Lawrence Radiation Laboratory, Berkeley, United States Department of Energy, through predecessor agency The Atomic Energy Commission, February 1962. Lorry, V. W. and D. R. Hirschbach. The Determination of Molecular Structure from Rotational Spectra, Stanford University, University of California, Lawrence Radiation Laboratory, Berkeley, United States Department of Energy through predecessor agency The Atomic Energy Commission, July 1962. Zare, R. N. and D. R. Hirschbach. Proposed Molecular Beam Determination of Energy Partition in the Photodissociation of Polyatomic Molecules, University of California, Lawrence Radiation Laboratory, Berkeley, United States Department of Energy through predecessor agency The Atomic Energy Commission, January 29, 1964. References External links Nobel Biography 
Video of a talk by Hirschbach on Linus Pauling.